I have seriously got to stop coming to the gun shop. Look what I found. Sellers Bellot? Soft point ammo. The last time I saw this, they only had like full metal jackets. I came in for this, but I gotta stop coming here. The sun is beginning to set on an epically hot Texas day. Spent the afternoon wakeboarding. How many of you guys enjoy getting out on the water to cool off in these ridiculous conditions? Tonight I'm going to be hunting out in East Texas. I'm going to be using my buddy Ron Savage 10 BA Stealth that he's letting me borrow for a couple of weeks. And I've got my Fleur 736 Thermosight Pro mounted onto this. I did a little bit of research into this bullet and it looks to be a bonded soft point bullet. And there seems to be more and more companies that are coming out with this design. I'm a big fan of soft point bullets in general but a bonded soft point bullet, this is definitely gonna put Barnes into a pinch because these bullets are exponentially cheaper, um, but people out in like communist states will still have to stick to those copper bullets. Let's see if we could get a coyote down. Coyotes are pretty prevalent out on this property. Um, half the ones that I shoot are typically just kind of mousing around, um, and I've called the other half in, and it's kind of hit or miss when you're using a collar. I've seen hogs out here very sporadically, and I'm gonna be using a scent that I've been testing for about two weeks now and it's been able to call in a or sent in a bunch of deer but it hasn't brought in any hogs yet at least to at least the levels that I'm expecting so we'll see how um, coyotes run tonight and if the scent works out and if anything I'll be able to run uh, this gun and finally get it tested let's get us some tonight certain nights it's like animal kingdom on this property as soon as I booted up my thermal I noticed a herd of deer 200 yards to my south there was a feral cat in a tree to directly west of me at about 125 yards, a raccoon family southwest of me at 150 yards, a possum 50 yards north of me, and it was cool seeing him feed off the tree, another feral cat near the barn about 100 yards northwest. That being the case, I did not get to put out any of the hog max. I arrived at the property around 8.30. The wind was blowing constantly south-southwest. The moon was just over 60%, so walking out into the open field was not going to be an option. At sunset, I spotted a heat signature a good 250 yards to my southwest. The raccoons I spotted earlier were in this general area. I zoomed in to get a better ID and realized these are definitely hogs. I dashed down there and realized the grass was thigh high. This was going to be an issue, and we'll pick up the action from here. I think we got something up here. You can do that thick grass. Oh, look at this blood trail. What the heck is that? Let's go check this pig out. Oh. <laughs> I literally blew its brains out. That's its brains. That is its brains. And it still ran five paces. This video just got restricted. This is the reverse side, and right there is the shot placement that blew his brains out on the other end. The Federal Fusion bullet popped this piggy at roughly 140 yards. At this distance, the bullet would have struck the hog at 2,400 FPS, delivering 1,780 foot-pounds of energy into the cranium. Got some antlers on these guys down here. They're coming right at me. They may, may look like they're close, but they've got to be a good 200 yards out. This is a, a fixed six time zoom. <laughs> that was funny. Let's give you all a couple of color palettes here. There's a white hot. And outdoor alert. Usually like keeping it on black hot. Comment on what 140 grain bullet you want me to use next. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Ron wanted a headshot. Here you go, and stay tuned for my next adventure.